this content is for kids. It's not uh, for kids. No, uh, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings! You're watching Septim Sin vs. the World. I'm Septim Sin, this is Kotobuki Jake, hey. and we're here to show you what they got. They got nothing this week. Oh, you think this is bad? Wait till next week. <laughs> of course, this is, of course, it comes out on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve tend to be low release days. I wonder why. Yeah, I mean, most it's people have bought what they want to get. Yeah, you would think though the the uh, well actually I'm not surprised Anaplex would be releasing them. Huh? Matter of fact, this list is so short that I'm not using a Rebel Gaming Club song. I'm just sticking back to our short DVD song. Okay. And speaking of, take a look. That was short. Yeah, I mean, you're going to just like spend days going through that list. So, the first one is they are re releasing Galaxy Express, the series, with a two part series, much like some more entertainment did. The ones who released Boba Bo, they were going to release it in two parts, but some more entertainment also got this far and stopped. So we're going to see if this studio stops halfway or goes ahead and finishes it off. This is a classic series. Who got it? Oh, gosh. Who was it? Was it Discotech? It was either Discotech, Eastern Star, or Nozomi. I can't remember which. I mean, yeah, I can take a quick crack at it to see. Um, what does that look like to you? Uh, I mean, it looks like a discotheque cover. Yeah, I think so. So, I don't know. I mean, to me, I've been curious because essentially it's a very long series and tells the story that's condensed into this movie. Hmm. And it's a pretty cool story. It's about a guy whose mother gets basically killed off and he wants revenge. His, uh, his assailant, uh, they're a bunch of people who basically got robot bodies and mm -hmm. they decided to hunt down humans and make them trophies. Mm. So he wanted to get his own robot body mm. in order to kill this guy. Mm. And that's essentially the whole of it. It's a pretty good series. I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. And I do want to get the full-on series so that I can see it as it's supposed to be. It does sound interesting. No doubt. I mean, you got a lot of characters that come from them. Clay Millennia, mm -hmm. Captain Harlock, uh, Esmeralda, I believe. Fu. Yeah, Fu was in it. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got you've got a more, um, what do they call it, uh, highbrow. Yes, yes, highbrow. 
So, my only selection this week that I'm going to mention, although I do have a strong interest in the other one he's going to cover, um, is a movie that I believe is up for at least one Golden Globe. I think just one. Uh, for actress. But it is in the actress race for Renee Zelliger is portraying Judy Garland in a film appropriately called Judy. <laughs> and I know relatively little about this. It has something to do with uh, an event later in Judy Garland's career. I've read the synopsis and I've forgotten it. To be honest, I have middling interest in this one, but it is in the awards race, so I will eventually watch it, and probably, if it does end up with an Oscar nod, I'll have to get it. Um, but it looks pretty interesting, especially if you're a fan of Judy Garland or Renee Zellweger, it's worth looking at. Hmm? Well, Aniplex has a big release. Yep. They decided, for just a small price of 160 some dollars, uh, you can get all of Kill a Kill. Yeah. Which for them, 160 some for 25 episodes isn't terrible. Not particularly. I mean, I used to pay $100 per season of Ronma. That's about that length back hmm. in the day. Well, let's see. So 160 for 25 Yeah. So you're looking at... Um about six bucks an episode ish. I mean, it's a pretty cool mm -hmm. art box. It's not mm -hmm. as cool as the high grade Blu ray editions, mm -hmm. but they didn't go as all out for these as they did. I got the standard editions for 25 mm -hmm. each, so I'm still getting it for less than what they're charging. But you know, just to show you, that's volume mm -hmm. five, volume four, mm -hmm. volume three, volume two, volume one. And again, I don't know what the heck is up with these high school uh, anime and how crazy their high schools are. But this one <laughs> apparently has living clothing and uh, wants to enslave humanity and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. Trigger produced. Trigger does some really fun oddball animation. Uh, <laughs> so that's all I've got, really. Yeah. I'm curious about this one. I've seen... We saw, what, an episode, two episodes? Uh, I've heard it's think, really good. Yeah. George I've, really liked it. Yeah, we had a friend who loved it and told us to watch it, and I know he showed us one episode. It might have been two. I've been meaning to watch more. I was also curious because there exists a fascinating music video <laughs> that pairs Memorial Clover Z with Kiss. And it's animated by this tri uh, studio. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm curious to see this show, partly because of that, partly because that first episode was pretty intriguing. And this is definitely also a revenge plotline, I know yeah. that. Um, I've been wanting to get it, but I did not want to pay as much as, you know... But I got it about as cheap as you're gonna get it. <laughs> well, I don't know if we if they do a complete set, and I manage to get it for a hundred or so, I'll be I'll be fine with that. Well, we'll let's hope uh, let's hope that you get it. You you yeah. have the ability sometimes to catch those sales. Well, I mean, right now, right stuff's got a bunch of Anaplex on yeah. sale, and um, so check out our pickup videos this week. <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, I got something. That you got for a much better price, but still I got it at a decent price. Oh, okay. But this came on one of uh, Right Stuff sales. Oh, cool. I mean, 125 is still not terrible no. for Anaplex for that number of episodes. I am willing to angle for 125 or less for the Blu-ray, though. That's a lot for a DVD. Yeah, they were still charging like 50 for <laughs> yeah, each Blu-ray, so I was like, I no, no. <laughs> yeah. All, All right. right. All right. Well, that's short it. and sweet. <laughs> and we will see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye. Bye.